morning Capricorns what's up my loves hopefully everyone's doing well thank you for finding me once again if you're returning if you're new welcome my name is Renee I'm gonna give you a message um, that comes through here for you um, I hope it will resonate if not you may want to check one of your other signs or uh, for some of you you, you have you know um, other readers here on YouTube um, that may resonate with you more Okay, um, I love having you here, but um, we all have a message and this one may not be yours and that's okay. Um, if you have purchased a reading or donated to my page, thank you so much. If you um, have not liked or subscribed, um, please do as well. Um, if you subscribe, then you can catch me when I'm here with new content. Um, if you like, um, that actually helps this reading uh, circulate to the people that may need it. Um, and you can also share um, if you feel like um, the message that I have for you today um, will help someone that you know about, okay? That may not uh, necessarily uh, be into tarot or someone that really doesn't watch my channel. So here we are. <laughs> As in each of you, uh, love and light. So let's just tap in here and see uh, who's pulling on your energy, what's going on with your energy, uh, Capricorns. Um, <clears throat> I have some good friends that are Capricorns. <laughs> they keep me right money-wise. I love you guys. Let's see what's going on. You guys are out here trying to find out who's going to be your your forever person. Okay. I know that's right, guys. Right? Who? Who am I going to give this ring to? Who am I? Right? Or who's going to give me a ring for the women in here? Right? You guys are ready to settle down. You're ready to uh, do some things differently. But you know that, that this has to, you know... <clears throat> This has to be something that you do around your current trust issues, okay? Right? You're afraid to be hurt. You know, you don't really trust um, your judgment as you used to. And this is what Spirit has given me. You guys may have cho uh, chosen some people in the past that may have been a little sus, right? So with choosing these people, you're like, okay, do I even got it? to be able to to discern if this person is right for me or not, you know, because they may throw it on thick or they may treat me a certain way in the beginning. Um, so, you know, I'm usually blinded, you know, uh, but can I get to a point where I'm understanding that this person is good or not, you know? So yeah, with you being hurt before um, Capricorns, you know, you, you really need to tap into your discernment. Um, and I feel like you want to go with the flow. You know, you're in love with love. You want to feel uh, what love brings to you. Um, and unfortunately, you've been meeting people that want to keep you stuck in some sort of lesson, right? Um, so don't allow your mind to force you into like a fort and when i say that like you just build these walls around yourself and you could possibly judge or discern a situation or a person in the wrong manner because you're scared okay so spirit wants you number one to step out on faith number one to trust your intuition right to trust how you feel about a person right you're you're not the person that is wrong because you took someone for face value because you believe that they were the person that they were presenting themselves to be that is not on you that is a character flaw that is a spiritual flaw um, in someone else, right? They haven't dealt with their demons. They're showing up out here as as someone else wearing a false mask, et cetera, moving around all willy-nilly trying to, to fool a person, essentially, okay? That's not on you. Uh, but but I'm, I do feel here that some of you have been getting feelings about people that you may have been ignoring. And this is what Spirit is saying. Those trust issues that you have, you need to surrender, okay? Surrender, okay? So let go of the negativity that's in your mind. Let go of the way that you may feel about, you know, oh, well, such and such did this and that feels like when this happened to me, don't do that, 
okay? Understand that every uh, circumstance or situation is an individual event for you. Understand um, that you're meant to discern what is going on or what you're feeling with each individual situation in your life. Um, once you understand what it is that you've learned, you're letting the universe, God, source, spirit, the divine, whoever it is that you pray to know, okay, in this situation, I learned this. In this situation, this person um, taught me that, you know, you're, you're always coming from a positive state no matter what happens, okay? Now, I know that some of us have been put into some really trying situations and we've come across some really trying individuals. But even with those trying situations, we're meant to look at it from a different view, right? From a spiritual view, okay? Even though this happened and this happened and that happened and this person did this and this and this, I could have showed up like this. I could have... Uh, walked away. I could have talked about this. I could have let them know that I felt this way. You know, you always want to look at what you could have done better, number one. And you always want to uh, look at the situation of one of saying, okay, right? This person is having issues. This person has triggers. This person has these things going on. Um, and they're trying to like transmute it my way, right? So you're meant to transmute that negative energy, Capricorns, into something positive, okay? And this is me giving you that clarity, okay? We're, we're talking about what you need to do to be able to see things clearly, what you need to do to be uh, in, a, in a better understanding mode of the different situations, people, places, and things around you so that you can see you know, how that fits into your life or does not, right? And you're the one that's going to be making this decision, Capricorns. Does this person fit? Does this job fit? Does this state fit for some of you? Does this situation uh, fit in my life, okay? So you're coming to a state of needing to make the discernments um, necessary for you to get to that commitment or that lifestyle that you're after. Now, before you do that, there may be a, con uh, a confession that some of you need to make, okay? Now, with this confession, I feel like this taps into the trust issues. Who can I trust, right? I'm tired of trusting people with whatever the con uh, confession this is. I'm tired of having to surrender in certain ways and getting my heart broke because, you know, people are not able to rock with this confession that I have, okay? Um, and that is another thing, uh, Capricorns. You being able to understand that everyone is not going to uh, to understand you or to vibe with you or to accept you um, out here in this world. It's just not something that happens, but the right people will. Okay, and I feel like I want you to keep your heart and your mind open for those people that the divine will bring in that matter to you. Okay, I just don't want you to be on warning mode. Look at this. Okay, I feel like I don't want you on warning mode because once you're on morning, uh, warning mode, that is like deterring you. These trust issues are deterring you. So you may have come into contact with beautiful people or situations or places or jobs or whatever. Um, but your faith, you know, has been altered because it's been damaged. Okay. You've been dealing with people that have treated you very irresponsibly um, in the relationships or unions that you've had with them. And it's kept you guys a little bit empty. Okay. So getting or gaining the clarity that you need putting yourself together. I feel like some of you need to heal. Okay. I feel like you have not went through the healing process, um, that you need to go through. And this one means that you need to really, really, really tap in on a different level, my loves. Okay. Um, if you need help with that, please email me. You know, I'm going to be putting together some things to help people with healing. Um, I went through the, uh, Ho'oponopono um, 
the Hawaiian art of forgiveness. I would like to help you if you are not able to um, gain clarity and release uh, certain things. Okay, just email me at embracingmatches at gmail.com if you need me. Okay, because I can put you on a different plan. These are going to be a set of classes that I have as well. Um, they're not going to be expensive because I know that people out here, you know, uh, financially, we need to have resources um, that come about that help us. Um, so they will not be expensive, um, but I will be putting them up shortly. Okay. Um, if I can help you in the, in the interim, I absolutely will. All right. So look, you may have someone around you that may want a loan. Okay. Because you guys, and I mentioned this at the top of my reading, because you guys are so good with finances and being structured and keeping everything in alignment, um, having to do with money, people may come to you because they know you got it. And when I say you got it, they're like, oh, I know that I can depend on this person because they're always very, um, very financially uh, stable and responsible. Okay. Now that doesn't mean that you guys have to give anyone anything. Okay. If you feel that out here in these streets that people only come to you or people only reach out to you, uh, for loans or because they're having money issues or something of that nature, then this is something that you want to deter. Okay. October could be significant for some of you, or you could be dealing with someone uh, that's born in the fall. Okay, they may come to you for money or asking you to borrow something, um, but this will be your discernment as well. Okay, could come to you on a Wednesday or could have come to you on a Wednesday if this has happened already. Um, but Spirit is giving you clarity of someone coming to you. You have the absolute right to say yay or nay. Okay, this is on you, but it's, it's up to you to use your discernment. Okay. Also, you guys may need to vacation or you may have just recently vacationed or visited a new city. Spirit is saying that this is really, really um, important to to what's going on in your life currently, because as you are traveling, I feel like you are going to come into different calipers of people. And this is going to be how you meet the person that is worthy of your ring or or uh worthy of commitment with you okay you guys just saw the light go off that's my my imac i'm using the light um so anyway you know i feel like you may <laughs> someone here may may be like okay the, the the men or the women in this area where i'm from you know i'm kind of over it and if you're feeling that way it's because spirit is wanting you to get out and to be able to experience uh, experience other types of individuals right you're craving something different you're craving a different atmosphere you're craving a different vibe and you may need to travel while you're you know um on this crave because you'll see different cultures, different people, you know, and you'll be able to feel like you're fulfilling something that you need for yourself. And that is a part of self-care. Okay. Self-care could be for you right now. Yeah. I need to go on vacation. Yeah. I need to roam around a bit. I need to feel that I'm doing something that gives me a renewed sense of vibration, a renewed sense of being right. Something fresh, something exciting. Okay. So you're watching tarot seeking answers. You're here with me right now. For some of you, you may be house hunting or you may have recently just rented or sold a home. Okay. Right. You may be looking for someplace else to go. Okay. If, if you guys have not just recently got to a place, you may have recently got into a place. If it's not a house, some of you could have bought or sold a house. You could have went to an apartment, um, moved in, okay. Or moved out of one and into another, take it how it resonates for you. Um, but this is what spirit is saying. Okay. For some of you, you know, um, you may be hitting the lottery soon, so make sure you get your ticket. It may not be a lot that you're hitting for, my loves, but you want to be grateful for any amount that you get, okay? Be grateful. If it's $2, be grateful that you received that from the universe because what the universe is going to do is going to make sure that you 
um, are in a receive mode. And that's just them testing the lines. How do you receive what we just gave you, right? If you say, oh man, I don't want no $2, you know, never come from that state. But thank you. I'm so um, I'm appreciative. I'm so grateful for the amount that you've just given me. I know that, um, you know, this is a blessing. Thank you. You know, always be in that state. Um, you have people that may be doing a little bit of spell work around you. And I'm feeling like a boomerang effect. So you want to be mindful. Um, you may have been dealing with someone that that does like candle magic or jar magic to try and hold on to people's energies. This is a female energy that I'm getting, whether it's masculine or, or feminine. Someone's in their feminine energy trying to make sure that they can keep a connection to you, Capricorn. Um, this would be the person that's popping up in your mind, right? I feel like someone may have come onto YouTube and may have learned the arts of uh, doing these spells. Um, this kitchen magic is what I call it, right? To try and keep themselves connected or in the know about a person. And this is someone that you busted. This is someone that you may have busted. They could have been cheating on you or doing things behind your back. This is a person that's now um, looking for a job, okay? And like I said, they may come to you for a loan or something of that nature because they feel like you got it. And do you have it? No, you don't. You may have it for you, your family, and the people that you deem as important to you. But do you have it for someone that's coming to you solely on the lines of, you know, I didn't, I wasn't the person that I needed to be for Capricorn, but I know that Capricorn, you know, they got money, that type of energy. So just be mindful. You are not anyone's cash cow and you're not anyone's savior either. Okay. So spiritually, the divine is coming through here. This is someone that you have a spiritual connection to. This is someone that you're connected to. Okay. As I'm talking about this person, you may know exactly who I'm talking about. Okay. A solution has to, has to come about now. Spirit is saying, what is the solution? Right. This person may feel like they have a key in your life so they can come and go as they please but you are needing to cut this cord totally from this person you may have never s said what you needed to say you may have never put your foot down with this person because deep down you may have wanted to um have a resurrection or reconciliation with this person and you may have never told them what's up like yeah you're not going to be doing that to me you're not going to treat me like this or that you may have been silent so spirit is saying know that you have the tools and the power to go on and make the situation what you need it to be you can cut yourself off from this individual okay and even if they do come to you for a loan or they feel like they can manipulate your energy enough um to get things from you you know you have the power of discernment to to um to shut that down okay so just be mindful of that as well let's see what else we have for capricorn and tie this up yep king of cups you guys got a lot a lot a lot of love to share okay when this king of cups card comes for me what it means okay um, is that you guys, you know, you, you're financially stable, right? You have a lot of love to give. You want to share that love, right? You understand um, how people are, how they move, and you're very caring and very, um, very loving, okay? You have a lot of knowledge within you, but like I said, trust is an issue, right? Because you don't know who you can trust, but I feel... I feel with this card coming out and this every time I see this card is that you're you're so emotionally intelligent um, that you just need to tap into the right energy from yourself. You're very mature. You're very, um, uh, very stable. You're very um, loving, very caring. You can discern who's for you and who isn't. So do not be afraid to make the decisions that you need to make um, in your life. Okay. You, you have all that power. And for some of you, as you're making those decisions, right, we have the nine of pentacles card. That may mean that you need to be single for a little while longer until the person that is meant for you comes along and, and that's okay. Okay. This is you tapping into that energy, being independent, being successful, you know, prosperous, wealthy. Um, this is you that, you know, through your hard work, 
the divine is going to reward you with that person that is meant to either tap in, to pour in, or to thrive with you. Okay, so just hold on. I feel like someone is absolutely coming right now. We have four cups energy, right? With that, this uh, cancer energy, I feel like you guys are like very regretful on some of the things that happen. You may be refusing offers that people are giving you because you feel like the right opportunity has not come to you. And this is how you should be. This is the energy that you should be in, right? If someone is offering something, um, if, if you feel like it's not for you, you want to like dig in, you want to really assess the situation, but be careful that you're not pushing away someone based on things that's happened to you in the past um, that is really for you. So be very careful with your discernment. Be very careful uh, with really tapping in um, to... Um, those parts of you that need to be um, initiated now, okay? I feel like some of you don't listen to your intuition as much as you should, but this is where you should listen to your intuition, okay? So don't be so nostalgic about situations that have happened to you that you give away the right resources, situations, or people, okay? So listen, tap in, meditate, um, really see how someone moves. A lot of you, you know, you may hear or you may listen to how people speak to you, you may move on that, but you really want to see what their actions are now and give us some time. Okay. Time reveals all. Okay. So if a person is really there for the right reasons, you're going to see it because they're going to be uh, in pursuance of you. They're going to try to do what they need to do to make sure that you do trust them going forward. And this is the energy that you deserve. Capricorns. Okay. So this is what I have for you guys. I'm sending you the utmost love and light. Um, if anyone needs a personal reading, the information is in the box below, my loves. You guys take care.